I'm like, yes. If you having trouble fitting because you you brought the truck. Oh yeah, I brought the truck, and the truck is like wide and long. You know, I, yesterday's the first day I parked it, so I was like, I don't. Fit. Oh no no no. He goes, there, I can't get there it. Was, there, there was two. There was two. Oh, eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was two eighteen wheelers. Or two, two dry vans right out here, and they were like in the way, and I couldn't get in. I'm like, babe, I can't fit. I can't fit in. I'm like, I can't fit in. And she's like, you mean you don't fit? <laughs>
saying on the Darrell's podcast. Yes. Okay, but my question is this. Who or how can we make it to where no one gets upset and the rate is kind of accommodating? Because I, I always believe that the things will go down again. What goes up must come down. What I don't want it to happen is it comes down like, bang. And then we have to drop our rates by 200% and shit. Good morning, Orion. Taking off this "Make America Great Again" thing. I mean, although it started off as a joke, I get it. It's cool. I oh shit. Oh, you don't want your followers to get offended. No, I don't care. I, I don't. To me, I don't. I don't. I'm not political anymore. You know, I don't care. To each his own. Just like me. I, this, the way I look at things is this. The reason that I didn't vote, or I don't plan on voting anymore. I still can't believe that, by the way. No, seriously, I don't plan because I want to be partial. The only way to be partial is by not, you know. I, I don't want to, oh, you just lean this way or you just lean that way. I'm for everybody's rights. I'm for, I think, I think white America deserves rights just like black America and Hispanic America. Everyone needs to fucking live. We all need to live in harmony. Yeah, I don't believe it. Please. Yeah, and, and the same believe. thing goes for the LGBTQ community. Like the gay people, they pay taxes too. Shit, mm-hmm. if they pay, they should be able to go to a restroom. In my opinion, if they, shit. If we don't like it, if we don't like something, I think we should be the solution, not the problem. How can we fix it? That's it. That's it. I don't know how to fix it. I think I read something this morning or yesterday that said if we were all aware of everybody's stories and struggles and all that, we would all love each other. I promise you, there's a single white mom, a single black mom, a single Hispanic mom, a single Asian mom, a single, you know, Indian mom that has harder, that, that has a hard time paying the bills right now. Mm-hmm. They don't care what color you are, they're just trying to pay the bills. You okay, know? so these last two Fort Worths, we got one for Monday. I'm charging them a pre pool for that one because the last three days, so tomorrow. Okay. And then the last one got released late yesterday, and I asked them for Tuesday on that one, and we got for Tuesday as well. Okay, I got um, Moy on the other hazmat continental. <clears throat> well, at least for the trucking industry, everything that you've learned, how long do you want us to think it's taking you? To finally get it. Yeah. Everything? Yeah. Shit. Hey. When you, when, what, how long was it till you said you were Come comfortable? Here, please. You were comfortable with what you know. Mm. Maybe three, four years into it. But now I'm like feeling like a beginner with all these changes. <laughs> Man, this sh- Barber's cut's bad. Barber's cut's bad? got the 20 footer on uh, Jose it, it will be late especially now that we know how Barbara's cut is I'll tell him right now I'll uh, grab it. he's coming back from Conroe he's done in Conroe he's got a 40 foot one line empty that he's returning so he's gonna have to drop and pick up a 20 footer but to make it worth his while to not have to look for another chassis later down the line I'm gonna give him that shipping logistics after that it's a 20 foot, yeah, 20 foot MSC for that one. Can we check beforehand, like before we outgate a container from the port, can we check like where the empty returns? 
Because you know how some steamship lines tell you, let me know when it's outgated. That's mainly Yangling or Honda, I think. Just them two. Because they're like individual box by box, maybe? Mm-hmm. That's what I've never understood. Like some, some people wouldn't give me that information until after the box was out of the port. It's maybe Yangling and uh, Honda that have came across that way. But everybody else. Which one are you looking into? No, 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 no. Like for like, like this this KOCU box for uh, Hyundai. Hyundai. I can even like, it he's on his way to barber cut and stuff. But let's say by the time by the time the driver gets to the port, it's gonna be 10, 30, 10 o'clock. By the time you know we send the email, by the time we reply to the email, I mean four hours. I'm trying. I guess if we could say it actually that actually didn't take long. Guys. Yeah, no, no. She wrote me right back. No, but you shit. I pack it and I see. Yeah, yeah. They take forever. Yeah. Everything's charging. Today's Wednesday, right? Yes, oh, day. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? Hope day. do is I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch Oscar on his next load regardless I mean he's gonna have it anyway that way he knows ahead of time what he's gonna do huh here we go you have to We'll pay him no matter what, but this one might be a learning curve. <laughs> what, we're just, we're gonna have to tell these people. I mean, this this is learn, we're learning ahead of time. Um, if we're gonna have to come up with some way to. to uh, here's, here's okay. The only the only ultimatum would be not to do railroad stuff. If this is what it's gonna come down to, because no driver is gonna want to get boxes out of the railroad if we're not gonna pay them for time, and it sucks for the trucking company to have to pay. You know, storage charges yeah. and sweet charges or whatever if, if it has to get that far because nobody wants to go get anything out of the rail. I mean, because you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Because yeah, if exactly. the customer doesn't want to pay the waiting time, we still have to pay the driver something for being there and waiting for hours on end. That's not fair to the driver either. But if the customer's already asking, do you have proof? Yep. And we know that there's no way to show that at the railroad. This is going to be hard. Yep, this is going to be hard. The, I guess the only thing would be not to do railroad. <laughs> and then that's really bad for a lot of people. Because you're going to have to recognize that, that we're, we're not going to be the only one. Jesse, how he would handle that. Is the system giving you issues? Um, you know what, though? I'm not, I'm not I, haven't, I haven't been in there a little bit. Actually, I don't think I've been at all. <laughs> hey, well, I got a question. Conclusion foregone and confuse you. Where your war zone is torn on. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready for your bag. And comb my hair out so don't dread. Just my head rub. I don't wanna make safe. I just wanna best up. I just wanna get grub from my spot again. But do the odds work in our favor? Stay down, skate town. Head low and face down like a kennel greyhound. Doing God's work in the devil's playground.